thinking about you all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Be thinking about you all Hey everybody, it's Ermina. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new Today we are going to be doing something similar to what I did in the past Today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails Now you've already been like, wait did you already do that? Well, yes I did, but that was on my laptop and that's what I usually use as a substitute when I don't want to use my phone. So today I'm going to show you, be showing you guys the primary way of how I edit my thumbnails, which is on my iPhone and I think you can download all these apps from any phone. So if you have an Android, then it's most likely going to be Android friendly. So the apps that I use are Lightroom. Fonto and Pixar. However, with Fonto, I have heard that some of the features on the Android are not available on there as on the iPhone. What I'm saying is that there's more features on the iPhone than the Android, so that's something you may have to look out for. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a quick description of each of the apps before I get onto my phone and start screen recording. So, with Lightroom, I primarily use Lightroom to get the, the right filter. I have already a preset preset on there, but if I feel like I need another preset, then I make another preset. With Fonto, I usually put all the pictures together in one and then from Lightroom and then add text to it, you know, the special effects and everything onto the text. And then with Pixar, I usually add like fun decoration and like fun things on there just to, you know, make it pop a little more. So yeah, all these apps are free for iPhone and Android, so I guess we should just get onto it. Alright, so the first app that I usually go to, and this usually depends, but if I'm using only one picture for my thumbnail and it's 1280 by 720 or 16 by 9 ratio, then I will go directly to Lightroom. But in this case, since I have more than one photo that I want to input, I'm going to go directly to Fonto. So this is Fonto, here's the layout. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the camera and I'm going to click Plain Images. Now, I'm going to click the first one I see, and then I'm going to go up to coordinates, and I'm going to type in 1920 by 1080, which is the same thing as 1280 by 720. I just like to type this in better. So we're going to go up to the share button, and you're going to click use and save. There you have it. So now what we're going to do is I am going to quickly go to the, um, the three bars at the bottom, and you're going to click add image. And then you are going to click whatever images you want to add to your video. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I add all the images. So. Alright, so I selected all the images that I want to use for my thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize all of them. I click on the image and I'm going to click size. And then I'm just going to size it to whatever size I desire. So this could take a while. So can just watch me in the process of doing this. Okay, so I finally finished how I want my thumbnail to look as the layout. It did take a couple of tries because you have to size everything to the perfect size and make sure everything fits and everything, but I eventually got there and I did have to add an extra photo just to make sure everything fits, so you may have to do that. So what you're going to do after that is first you're going to save project just in case you lose your progress. And then what you're going to do is you're going to save your image. And then, so the next thing you're going to do is you are going to head to Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. And then you are going to click the plus sign, plus sign at the bottom and you're going to go from camera roll. And then you're going to click your thumbnail. And then you can start editing however you want to. So I'm just going to click, first I'm going to click auto and then see how it looks. And if I like it, I'll save it. Mm, no. So I'm going to go to my presets and I'm just going to go to use your presets. And I have a couple YouTube presets that I use. But I feel like, you know what, this one works. I'm going to keep this one. 
And then once you're done editing, and you can edit however you want, you don't always have to do it my way, you can click the check sign right there. And you're going to hold it down, and you're going to click share, and you're going to click export to camera roll. Alright, once you're done with Lightroom, you are going to go back into Fonto. Oh, oops. And then you are going to click the camera button again, and you're going to click photo albums this time. And then you're going to click your edited thumbnail with the filter on. And then this is where you can get creative. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to just tip, tap anywhere and you're going to click the add text that you see. And then you're going to type in whatever you want to type in. So, A week in. And I usually do it like up and down. So, I'm going to type a week in. And then you can change the style however you want or the font. So, I usually use a bold, fancy font. And then I style it with stroke like this and then what I'll do is I'll move it so it's in the center it will not completely so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve it just a tiny bit Like that. And then I'm just going to add another piece of text. So, in my life, not the preset. Then I'm going to add a different font. So, I'm going to add this font that's like normal. And you can add any font you want. You can also download your own fonts if you want. I forgot the website that I got downloaded one of my fonts on, but I'll link it in the description below if I find it. And then I am going to change the style of it to maybe like a, another color. So maybe purple and I'll just make it a tiny bit lighter. And then the stroke, I'll do a dark purple. And then I'm obviously going to move it to the center. And I'm going to curve it in the other direction. So tell me that what one. You want, tell me what you need. So I'm going to go with mine. And that's just how you do simple text. Actually, I'm going to change it so there's a couple of explanation marks. And I'm going to recenter it because it did something. Alright, that's how you do text. And I'm just going to add another piece of text. And I know this looks very simple, but it's what we got. And once you're done, you are going to, again, save project. And then you are going to save it. And you don't have to do it exactly like how I did. You can be more creative with yours. You can be less creative. You can do whatever you want with it. So what you're going to do now is you're going to head on to our last app, which is PixArt right here. It takes a while to load. And then you are going to click on the thumbnail that you just made from Fonto and you can start editing how you like. So I'm done and you can add more stuff if you want to I just chose not to so I'm gonna go to next X that out. I'm gonna go to save and I'm gonna download a photo and there you have it I finished my thumbnail 
you obviously know where to go from there. You transfer it to your laptop and then you upload your video and that kind of stuff. So I know this is like a pretty hesitant video to make. It is actually kind of last minute. You could probably tell by my outfit. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it and I really hope that this is helpful for you guys. So, and if you want to start your own YouTube channel, go for it. I was kind of hesitant when I started my YouTube channel back like 11 months ago, almost a year guys, wait up for August 5th. I was kind of hesitant, but then as I got along, I, I got a lot better at editing, I was a little more confident, so if I can do it, then you guys can do it too, if you like, it's your choice. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Michaela's channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!